Welcome to the new sound of online radio. Welcome to the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network. Yes, you make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven. A mix of today's hits and hard to find favorites. Combined with the most entertaining and intriguing talk anywhere. This is your sound. This is the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network at UBNRadio.com. Everybody, welcome to It's Time to Talk. I'm April. I'm Deidre. Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday. Yeah. We're here two weeks in a row, girl. I know. What Usually we up? skip a week. We do. So, but uh, it here. was very important, you know. Today is just a wonderful day. It and is. And we have so many things to cover. We so. do. Mm-hmm. So, let's so we're here. Right to it. Yes. So one of the reasons why we are here this week is because next week we are covering an event. Mm-hmm. And um, those of you may or may not know that the Stellar Awards are next Saturday. Is next Saturday. Stellar Awards is next yes. Saturday. And um, the 25th. And we're at the Stellar Awards honoring gospel artists. Mm-hmm. You know, it's their big Grammys. So very exciting events going along with that. Yep. And one of them that we are going to cover is for uh, the Paul Morton Legacy Awards. Right. And Shirley Caesar is going to be there. She's oh going to be God. honored. Um, Donald Lawrence. Mm-hmm. These are gospel greats. Obviously, Shirley Caesar do more than just beans, greens, tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> For, for the youngins, <laughs> it's more to her than that. <laughs> Even though that sounds so good it right now. It sounds so good. I'm like, I wish I had a plate. I just had a, right? I just had a hard-boiled egg, so it would and be it's nice. so funny because I was thinking, I said, are we going to do something like that? Because that's the first thing I think you about know, you, when I think about Shirley. Can you sister. imagine us interviewing her? Hi, you know, oh, all the accolades you've gotten, you know, right. praise God and Jesus and all that. Can you please sing that song for us? <laughs> But she probably would. She probably would. And I know everyone has asked her since Thanksgiving, since it came out, right? Right, right. It went right. viral. But, you know, I saw her on an interview um, mm-hmm. when that was happening, you know, mm-hmm. that was popular. And she actually, because I think someone asked her, was she, I think it was, might have been, yeah, okay, some show. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to say it. But anyway, yeah. they were asking her yeah. about it. And, yeah. and she was like, are you tired of it? This and that. She said, you know what? It has been good to me. There you go. She said, you know, God blesses you you in so many different ways. Yes, he does. (laughs) And you just did. And she said when that came out, she she has been truly blessed by it. So she did not mind it at all. I'm not mad at her. Right. (laughs) Because we all had a ball playing Mm -hmm, with that. It's mm -hmm. still fun to say it. (laughs) So it would be so amazing to go and uh, just meet her and, you know, just so many wonderful um, artists. And the third honoree at this particular event is Jonathan McReynolds. He's pretty new to the gospel scene and he's amazing. He's young. Mm -hmm. Um, praise and worship leader artist yeah. and has a beautiful song beautiful called song maintain oh that jarvis sent us so, oh, oh my god that's jarvis when I first of learned course about him. jarvis mm-hmm. sent it yeah. he, jarvis he's, he's is the Facebook man friend he's you man know, he jarvis <laughs> man no Jar- he's awesome. jarvis knows everybody so he does and everybody him. knows jarvis <laughs> It's a fact. So, mm-hmm. so we'll be doing that event, and we'll uh, probably do the Hollywood Confidential event with Kirk Franklin. Mm-hmm. Although it's on the same day, we're gonna have what to time? maneuver Vegas, man. We're gonna have to cross those streets, go in those hotels, right, and right, right, right. I'm not sure what time, but we'll be doing that event, and and that's gonna be a great one because mm-hmm. um, Kirk Franklin will be speaking, Tamala Mann will be speaking, oh and they're both nominated for awards at the Stellar Awards. Oh, so okay, awesome. Oh my goodness, if we get a chance to talk to those guys, oh my gosh, be yeah, on cloud nine, it's gonna be it, the no whole event, time. right? <laughs> <laughs> the whole event is mm-hmm. uh, should be pretty fun. Yeah. So that's why we're here, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we're just gonna, you know, have all the footage and video hopefully for you guys next week. Instead yes. of a show, right. we'll be posting some live video, mm-hmm. and you know, so make sure you follow us on our Facebook page at It's Time to Talk Show, 
and it'll be like we're here. Yes. Right? <laughs> Basically. Yes, we're always here. So you don't fire. miss us because we're going to miss you. Yes, we So will. you don't miss us. We love the live live audience. Absolutely. Live you live. know, I just read coming in that Chuck Berry passed away. Oh, my gosh. Legendary oh. musical artist, Chuck Berry. Oh, my God. He 90 is amazing. years old. 90 years old? 90 years old. 90. Wow, that's a beautiful, that is beautiful life when, you know, you can mm-hmm. live your dreams, you know, because he oh, was man. out there doing what he loves, yeah. entertaining. Yeah. And he's been around such a long time. Such a long so time. I was like, wow, to live 90. And right. didn't you say something about his wife is still alive? Yes. I saw some an article just recently. I want to say two weeks ago where people were talking about long jet couples in Hollywood mm-hmm. and long jet long mm-hmm. couples that have been together mm-hmm. for a long time mm-hmm. and their longevity. And he they t- talked about him and he and his wife were in the same picture and she's still alive. Like wow. they're married forever. I don't know how many years. I don't want to yeah. disrespect him and guess about how many years I'm mm-hmm. saying. But they, there, there she is. Jarvis is uh, showing a oh, picture. Oh wow! Yeah, that is in, amazing. Incredible. I wonder what kind of berries they were eating, <laughs> drinking because <laughs> oh, berries really need. <laughs> well, well, I say that because there's yeah. like goji berries. Um, there's real berries. Maybe that, because his name is Berry. <laughs> but for the, they oh, look at that look beautiful, beautiful picture. When they were young. Absolutely wow. beautiful. Can and you to imagine be, and to be together that long? It's just, oh, I mean, guy, like, how do you do it? Happy wife. Happy yeah. life. Well, that's true, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, but that, yeah. That's awesome. awesome. So, yeah. But, no, I was saying, I was just, you know, the berries. I mean, rest in peace. We yes. will miss him and, and our condolences to his family, of course. But I was just thinking of health-wise, living yeah. so long, yes. you know, like goji berries, um, the blueberries, all the berry yes. family. They, you know, just going to a health perspective. Right, They right. keep you, uh, they're right. antioxidants. Right, you know? right. So, um, so it's just wonderful to, I'm just saying, like, to You thought of berry. You weren't, like, making fun. You were no, just thinking. No, I was just thinking, like, how to live that long. Berries. And, you know, yeah. then it made me think about, because part of that is my health journey, too. I, right. I drink uh, liquid vitamins, and right. they contain goji berries and right. different things like that to try to keep my um, inflammation right. down and, and things, because after my surgery from mm-hmm. breast cancer, mm-hmm. you know, I still deal with chronic pain so mm. and inflammation. Right. So I drink liquid vitamins. So it just made me think about um, the berry name just made me think about. No, it it makes sense because it 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 affect what we eat, Mm -hmm. all these processed foods and everything that that they got, you know, GMOs, everything that they're. Mm-hmm. Everything that we have, our choices are so are mm-hmm. becoming limited at our local grocery stores. Yeah. You know, so mm-hmm. it's very important to be mm-hmm. aware and I just, of what you're um, putting in your body. You're right. And real quick, I just I was speaking to someone, and someone was telling me they were in the health field, and they said mm-hmm. that vegetarians still uh, have a high um, diagnosis of cancer because mm-hmm. they're because of the, the veg- vegetables and the fruits they eat and stuff like that. It still contains the pesticides. Pesticides. And stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Vegan has is like the way to go because you know you can avoid a lot of that kind of thing. But it was really interesting the conversation that we were having, and mm. was like, wow, you, you got to think about it because yeah. what, what they're putting in the soils, you know, and, wow. and to preserve the um, fruits and to yeah. make more of them and all that. So it's very interesting. Yeah. And you know what, we we have to bring that up with our guests. We do because. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm sure he has some things going on with with his diet right. and, and, and dealing with the illness. As you all know or may not know, it's March. Uh, March is um, Multiple, Multiple Sclerosis, sclerosis Awareness yes. Month, mm-hmm. and we have a special guest today. His name is Kenneth Johnson, yes. and he is living with multiple sclerosis, or MS, as they, as we call it. And we're going to talk to him after the break, and he's going to tell us about his journey, his diagnosis, um, just and how he's handling it and managing this disease. So um, we just want to spread some awareness and uh, get some attention going on this yeah. disease that um, you know important. we hope can have a cure one day. Mm-hmm. along with so many others. Yes. But we definitely recognize the importance of this. So we're so happy to have him, and he'll be right in after the break. Please stay tuned. Did you? Speak Your Week will guide you through the process of using the power of your thoughts and words to create more positivity and success in your life, day to day and week to week. Written by It's Time to Talk's own host, April Jordan. This dynamic book will remind you of the powerful person you really are and how to use that power to create the life that you want. Want better health, success, abundance, love, and more. Within the chapters, you will discover the kind of thoughts, emotions, and words you should be speaking about the things that matter to you most. Also, included in this book are affirmations to speak each day of the week. When spoken in daily succession, These affirmations gain momentum and can help you on your journey towards the life of your dreams. There's no other way around having the life that you want. 
It all starts with you. Get ready to speak your week. Available for download at Amazon.com. Welcome back to It's Time to Talk. That was a very quick break, wasn't it? We worked it out. We have in the studio with us Kenneth Johnson. He is living with multiple sclerosis. And as I told you before the break, March is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. So we really want to bring attention to this. So please welcome him to our show. Hi, Ken. Raising the roof. Raising the roof. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hi. Oh, well, you're what a so great awesome. voice. I know, isn't that? I mean, let's Watch just start out, there. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, I'm going to keep monitoring this because I'm going to see the numbers go up because as they hear your voice, <laughs> right? they should be tuning in. More. Watch out, Morgan Freeman. Oh, okay. calling you out. You, baby. Okay. Calling you out. Right? Calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a pleasure to have you yes, here. Yes, it Thank is. Um, Absolutely. And I'll, I'll start real quick because yeah. actually you and I met. Yes. And uh, uh, at one of uh, I was working at... Uh, it's the Air Force Base, Los Angeles, and Air Los, Force yes. Base. And uh, Ken stopped by with you with your you with your cousin, my cousin and, Chanel, um, yes. Mm-hmm. And so you know, of course, in the midst of me working, so I'm trying to sell my products and then engaging with you know you and your cousin. Um, and thank you for your support and interest. And we just started a conversation in regards to um, you know uh, just fitness, health, um, just being you know just think, being aware of things and then Ken and I we just start just gelling on those things and so then I mentioned you mentioned your um multiple sclerosis and right. I was just actually, like actually no I think you you mentioned that you did radio as well okay did I mention that and first? then I asked I think I asked you about well what are you doing on your radio show oh, okay and okay. then you mentioned uh breast cancer and oh, breast okay. cancer All awareness that cancer okay. awareness mm-hmm. and, and yeah. things like yeah. that mm-hmm. so um and then I think I asked you if you ever had anyone on oh, right. that had MS. Yes, right. Wow. And um So you're has, here. <laughs> and I think that's how the conversation mm, took wow. off. Wow. Right, it and did. I think we followed up and yep. uh yeah. You just never know yeah. where yeah. or how, you know, so what it, path you're going to be exactly. on. Exactly. So, and you had an interesting interesting story of, of just the whole gamut of things that we'll just get into later. But yes. but anyway, I just wanted to say that, you know, it was just amazing how you meet people and it just works out. Isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yes. So. Absolutely. So, awesome. I want to ask you, what yes. is multiple yeah. sclerosis for those of us who really don't know? Ooh, ooh, okay. The loaded question. <laughs> huh? it down. I know, right? Yeah. Well, basically, it's. Um, it has to do with the nervous system, the central mm-hmm. nervous system. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a number of things, and I'm still learning about the, mm-hmm. the disease as well. I'm two and a half, almost three years in. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, I'm st- there's still a lot of research going on in regards to uh, how mm-hmm. it affects me, mm-hmm. how it affects other people, mm-hmm. what to look for, and mm-hmm. things like that. But it's basically a, 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 a disease. Don't quote me on this, fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's basically a, a disease that, mm-hmm. that attacks the uh, central nervous system, okay. uh, which consists of the, the brain, uh, the mm-hmm. spinal column, mm-hmm. and uh, optic nerves. Okay. Mm-hmm. Optic nerves. And okay. you mentioned you said it affects people differently, so it'll... It does. Mm-hmm. Um there are some folks that are uh, bedridden, some okay. folks that are mm. wheel- wheelchair bound. Mm-hmm. Uh, they use canes, walking devices, mm-hmm. things to help them out okay. uh, to be mobile. Um, and as you can see, I came in under my own mm-hmm. uh, strength without yeah. yes, praise yes. without those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, it, it, you're right, praise God. Mm-hmm. Um, and so what I did was uh, decide that uh, I had to fight. Mm-hmm. Either mm-hmm. fight or don't fight. Right. Okay. You know, if I don't fight, I think I had an idea mm-hmm. what was to come in the near future. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so I decided to fight, and then that's when I began mm-hmm. to put together my mm-hmm. uh, my plan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, basically. So I guess ahead, it's I'm like sorry. the no, it's okay. No, yeah. absolutely. This is we're gonna have a conversation. This gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> so what what I was I was reading a little bit about it, and I guess in layman's terms, I was understanding it as sort of the body is fighting itself. Exactly. And it's and and the central nervous system is right. kind of attacking it, it, itself. It, it, I, I guess you can call it a hyperactive uh, immune system. Oh, okay. So what our immune mm-hmm. system does, everyone knows, and yeah. they should know, um, basically fights off or, or fights anything that's w- that's any foreign body that's within uh, your body. Right. Mm-hmm. It attacks it, viruses, uh, and things like that. And mm-hmm. what happens is, mm-hmm. I, I think, from what I've read, mm-hmm. is that the body is unable to determine or distinguish between uh-huh. the viruses and the myelin sheath. Oh, 
Okay. which is the coating that's okay. actually around the nerves okay. that protects it from all the foreign oh, wow. So what happens is the immune system begins to uh, eat on that. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. um, and as it eats away, mm. because it's there to protect mm -hmm. the right. foreign matter, mm -hmm. okay. um, what happens, it begins to literally short circuit. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's similar to the cord on this microphone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You have a protective okay. rubber coating mm -hmm. there. Okay. Right. You know okay. what I mean? And if that comes apart and the the um like the wires the wires are exposed, exposed uh -huh. thank you and the wires are exposed mm -hmm. what happens things mm -hmm. begin to flicker mm -hmm. or this mm -hmm. won't work 100 yeah. percent. you wow. know oh, so it's pretty much what happens with the body wow. mm -hmm. uh, along with that uh we develop um folks with ms uh mm -hmm. we develop brain lesions oh, wow. um basically um brain matter that's no longer being or it's no longer useful mm -hmm. um and what happens is it you send a message out. Mm -hmm. The brain sends a message out to mm -hmm. your hand to tell your hand to move. Mm -hmm. um, and it uses the the path of least resistance, mm -hmm. so a more direct path. Sure. Um, and what happens is if you have a lesion, mm -hmm. it, it obstructs that path. Oh, okay. So what happens, the brain has to find another, another way path. around to complete the circuit. Wow. wow. Okay. So that... Um, that causes mm -hmm. folks, and de depending on where the lesion is mm -hmm. will determine where you're affected or what part of the body is affected mm -hmm. or the brain is affected. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, wow. Wow. Thank you for the, those. Those yeah. are awesome that, analogies yeah, and explanations. Like, absolutely. you really Thank are you. helping me to understand Thank it. Thank you. That's, that's, and mm -hmm. I, I suffer mm -hmm. from our optic neuritis, mm -hmm. and it's I lost part of my vision on oh, the right side. Okay. Okay. So that's one of the three that's affected by mm -hmm. uh MS. Okay. If I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it. So how did you? Um, how did you come to the diagnosis? How? How were, were your symptoms before you even just, hey, be, when you finally realized hey something's wrong? Like what was going on with you? Yeah, I was having some issues. Uh, I want to say back in my mid twenties, mm -hmm. maybe oh, wow. early twenties. Wow. as far back as I can go right now. I okay. can recall. Okay. I'm still searching and trying mm -hmm. to recall. Yeah. Um, but I began to experience a lot of fatigue. Mm -hmm. um, I had just returned from Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I didn't feel 100%. Mm -hmm. I always felt tired and sluggish and mm -hmm. fatigued. Mm -hmm. And then uh, over time, I began to experience some other other uh, symptoms. Uh, my recall was began to uh, fall short of being normal, I guess, mm -hmm. if I can say that. Uh, I couldn't remember things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had that feeling of uh, being overwhelmed. A lot, mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't understand what was going on. But how do you present that to a doctor? Right, right. You know what I mean. So right, they're gonna say, "Yo, you're stressed. Yeah. Go get some rest. Yeah, go, you exactly. know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah." And, and then I'm in law enforcement. So how do oh, I present that to right. other officers? Right, right. You know, or mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. law enforcement law enforcement officials mm -hmm. saying that, "Hey, look, I got this issue uh -huh. going on." Uh -huh. You know, and then you wonder, will they think less of me because right. I'm asking these questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to protect yourself and right. just try to drive mm -hmm. on. Well. Over time, I began to have some numbness and tingling in my left arm. Okay. okay. Um, and then over time, it traveled and traveled down my left leg. Mm -hmm. So the, the entire left side of my body, mm -hmm. I would experience this numbness and tingling oh, wow. and couldn't understand what it right. was. Mm -hmm. Now, I did suffer an injury while I was working one of my jobs. I'm a, uh, a former uh, government investigator. Mm -hmm. uh, so I suffered an injury during some training during mm. that time. So I chalked it up to that. Oh, okay. You know, mm -hmm. I figured, well, I got a spinal cord injury. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the reason why it happened. Mm -hmm. So fast forward again, back forward um, to the the leg mm -hmm. and the left arm. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm out here in Los Angeles, and um, it began to happen in the right arm as mm -hmm. well. So I'm wondering, well, what's going to happen next? Right. Is it right. going to be the right foot, and then it's uh -huh. going to be the whole body? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that kind of prompted me to go visit my doctor, um, Dr. Robert Baumhef, and I want to give him a shout out because he's he's the one that, that yes, diagnosed me. Absolutely, um, and I think I've you know I've had this for some years now, mm -hmm. and he's the one that found it. So, oh, so uh, you had been going to other doctors? I had and been going to other doctors. They were doctors. missing it. Yes. Wow. Well, I don't. I can't say that they were missing it, mm -hmm. but 
they didn't diagnose no, me. So okay. I'm guessing maybe they didn't know. Okay. Or they didn't, I, I, well, maybe I wasn't giving them enough information. Well, I was going to say, because mm. even some of the symptoms that you were saying, I mean, on one, two occasions, I just felt that alone. You yes, know, yes. I mean, just, and you don't, and seriously, I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. not playing either, but right. it's like you felt, I no, felt numbness, numbness tingling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you yeah. go to a doctor, it's kind of, I could kind of see mm-hmm. where they might, unless they really know or are into that mm-hmm. field, right. you mm-hmm. know, they could probably misdiagnose but it's, or it's, it's make like, light of um, it. One of the symptoms that I experienced is the numbness and tingling, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. and the and the prickly, prickly. Uh, I don't know what you call oh, that okay. again. Like, but it like feels like your arm stick- is falling asleep. I was gonna oh, say okay. that maybe yeah. like yeah. that but sensation. It's, it's kind of like that on steroids. Oh wow! You know? So your arm is falling. So asleep. you couldn't ignore it, and so it didn't go no, right no, away. It, it would tell you, "You who I'm here." Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or I'll be right back. Yeah. You know, so it'll go away, and then it'll come back, mm-hmm. and it was just continuous. Okay. Mm-hmm. Over and over and over, and wow. that's what prompted me to go to uh, wow. to Dr. Baumhafner uh, at the VA Medical Center, and um, he did some uh, he did some testing, and mm-hmm. uh, he asked me if I had a family member or any family members with multiple sclerosis, and I was like, I hadn't heard of that since mm-hmm. I was grade school doing mm-hmm. fundraising. Wow. Right. Right. You know, right. So right. I was like, no. So I called my mom, and I think I maybe talk to some other family members Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, I asked them about it and no one in the family had been diagnosed with MS or known to have MS Mm -hmm. so um from there, mm-hmm. okay, I lost my train of thought. So it's okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, I was because I was gonna say like from so from there, I mean like yeah. okay, hearing the news, getting like that, the diagnosis, right, right, getting the diagnosis, mm-hmm. like what it did you go into? You Ooh. know what happened yeah. <laughs> there? That was a that was, was a, rough? A, a rough time okay. for me. Mm-hmm. Um, having the law enforcement background that mm-hmm. I that I have, um, going to college, mm-hmm. um, trying to trying to keep myself together and, and work hard and, and do my best and everything that I, right. that I applied myself to mm-hmm. and then to be diagnosed with mm-hmm. this yeah. uh, kind of shut me down for about a year. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, it yeah. scared me. Yeah. Um, I didn't I didn't know what I was going to do at that particular mm-hmm. point in time if I answered your question. No, you mm-hmm. did. Okay. And I was going to say, were you, what line of work were you Were you doing the law enforcement thing? I was doing happened? the law enforcement okay. thing. Um, uh I was working for a federal agency. Okay. Did that for about seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did experience uh, symptoms during that time. Okay. And I think it, uh, it, I think it uh, took a toll on, on my work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and yeah. Did, did like, because um, I know, like, um, I worked in law enforcement years ago as okay. well, and I know they have, like, uh, therapists and, and things like that to help. Did you seek any help within the organization? Of, of, Not within the type? organization. Okay. I went on my own. Okay. Uh, I recall seeing a couple of counselors mm-hmm. speaking with them, but uh, no red flags. Uh huh. You gotcha. know, yeah. no red flags, which I couldn't understand. Mm-hmm. The line of work that I was in, mm-hmm. uh, which public official, right. mm-hmm. uh, we're required to 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 have health exams, right. physical mm-hmm. exams yeah. okay. on an annual basis, okay. um, to make sure you're fit to serve the public. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and no one ever caught mm-hmm. anything. I mean, wow. I'm talking. That's interesting. I'm, yeah. I'm talking full exams, right. blood right. work. Uh, uh-huh. from head to toe, everything, mm-hmm. wow. and nothing. And that's one of the things that I would like to see come in the future is mm, maybe right. some sort of testing for multiple sclerosis. Specifically uh-huh. for, for that disease. Right, okay, exactly. Right. And mm-hmm. We need that right? Yeah, okay. because there's, there's more and more people becoming diagnosed mm-hmm. with that mm-hmm. uh, over time. And, right. and the we, younger you can catch it, you know, exactly. you can get on top of it. Exactly, you know? get on top of it, mm-hmm. maybe... Um, I don't know, we could start speaking to uh, a doctor or yeah. a psychiatrist mm-hmm. and help you uh, deal with right. this disease. Uh, right. it, it, it takes a toll on you. It's yeah. really right. tough to mm-hmm. deal with. Right. Yeah, we, got, we have people commenting. Hello out there, everybody on our Facebook what? page. Um, Lisa says, bringing awareness. Thanks, Ken. Hey, Lisa, hey. Lisa Lugwood <laughs> Fanny. Uh, Therese Foster says, wow, didn't know there were so many different symptoms. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, that's. Deidre so chiming in. And there's more, yes. trust me. Yeah. We just haven't. Yeah, Cynthia Taylor me. says, uh, I'm with you, brother. I see you. You're doing good. Aww. Thank so you so much. Looks wonderful. like you have you a lot of support. Me some tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. It's just Thank sweat. You. It's just the lights yeah, and the sweat. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. crying. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, you're doing you're doing awesome. This yeah. uh, this is just so enlightening for, mm-hmm. for me and for yeah. Deidre. It's just so important mm-hmm. that we, yes. you know, you're 
walking on the street, I wouldn't think yeah. anything <laughs> looking at you. You know, right. it's like the right. invisible disease, I guess they, exactly. one thing that they call it. You can't dubbed. tell yeah. mm-hmm. by looking at you yeah. that you're dealing with this. You're, you yeah. have this. And, and maybe if we would have met, maybe prior to me working out and exercising, you're mm-hmm. probably doing, oh, okay, maybe oh, he might uh-huh. have had some okay. something going uh-huh. on. Um, I've kind of beefed up a little bit. Okay. Um, now I want to talk about that because, yes. so after that first year, mm-hmm. something clicked. You said what? I said either I'm going to fight okay. or I'm going to let this thing beat me. Okay. Um, and uh, I've been in the military. I've been in war. I've, mm-hmm. you know, I've been wow. on the streets as law enforcement. And mm-hmm. I said, yeah, I can't give up on this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm too, I have too much in yeah. me That's right. to That's fight right. back. Yes. You know? So yes. I was like, nah, I think <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm work this out. Right. Okay. Absolutely. It took me about six weeks before I was able to run on a treadmill again. Wow. Um, that was tough. Mm-hmm. Um, couple of times it drew some tears right. um, absolutely um, understandable you know when you're trying to run and do the things that you used to do right and you can't mm-hmm. you're like okay mm-hmm. yeah. what's happening here mm-hmm. right so every day i would just try to run a little bit more mm-hmm. or run or try to start running right and eventually by the sixth week um I was able to run for for a full sixty seconds wow. 60 seconds wow. running yes. and then 60 mm-hmm. seconds walking mm-hmm. and then then I'd alternate from there. I would also uh, lift some weights because mm-hmm. I knew that MS was going to uh, take a toll on my muscles. Mm-hmm. Uh, the muscles will degenerate, mm-hmm. and uh, I mm-hmm. think they call it spasticity. Mm-hmm. Spastic- spasticity. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, the muscle breaking down. Oh, okay. Um, so um, I yeah. started working out and lifting weights and. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing it ever since. Okay. So I'm two and a half years in. That's wow. MS strong. That's yeah, right. I mean, you look fantastic. When I met you, you, I had no clue, you know, until Thank we started you. talking. So, um, and it shows the importance of exercise, you yes. know, because I'm sure, you know, along with that, maybe you started feeling better. You, like you said, it got easier and easier as yes. far as even though you just fighting through it. But you can go longer. Your, you know, your um, stamina, things yes. like that, can yes. last longer. So it's yes. very important. Yes, um, very, very. Important. Yeah, and I hear that often. And in, in fact, uh, Deidre and I last summer we got the opportunity to go backstage with the OJ's. Ah. And I don't know if you know it or not, but Walt, one of the members, Walt Williams, he has MS. I didn't know. He has MS, and he was diagnosed. Um, uh, in the 80s i want to say early 80s and i think he's 73 now so he's been living with it for wow. 40 years 30 40 years or something like that drivers can we play that video and he was saying that when he was when he got the news he was down and out and felt bad and he was yes. depressed and and he he just decided you know what mm-hmm. I, i'm i'm going to fight this yeah. you know mm-hmm. he his fighting spirit came up and he said e- either it's going to get me or i'm going to you know, yeah. get it. I'm going to get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm yeah. paraphrasing, but yeah. um, maybe we can play the video. I just want people to see how you don't have to let this thing beat you. Right. Exactly. That's a good, good example. Yeah, so I mean, that's yeah. amazing yeah, to you know? do to have MS and right. and perform mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know where that man gets the energy, <laughs> but I would like to meet him so I can get some of what he got. Right, but, like, but that's your future. You right. can continue. Yes. You know, yes. you're still a young yes. man, so you know, by the yes. time you continue to move on, move old, get older, you know, you still that's the inspiration of it all to me. Yes. It's like you can mm-hmm. still do it. You know, yeah, and, and, yes. and for yeah. people out there, it's it's possible. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I not going yeah. through it myself and I definitely respect you and pray Thank for you. you and your health and Thank the people you. who are going through it out there but mm-hmm. you know it our, we have a lot in our heads we have a, either good or bad yes. and, and also life and death is in the power of the tongue is when yes. you can speak over yourself and right. speak over others yes. you know you have to keep those thoughts positive and is that something that you work on oh yeah <laughs> um, I'm in church 
just about every Sunday. Okay. Um, I do a little bit of traveling mm-hmm. uh, every now and then since mm-hmm. I don't, I no longer work. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do. Uh, I, I'm a catechist instructor mm-hmm. uh, at one of the uh, one of a the churches. Yeah, I was say catechist yeah. instructor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> new one for me. It's like Explain Bible please. study anyway oh, okay. for Catholics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're like, right, hey, yeah. learn something new every day, and that is the truth. All right, right. So yes, I do attend church mm-hmm. weekly uh-huh. um, when I'm well enough to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, after church, mm-hmm. I think Sundays are my rest days. Okay. So I just kind of relax yeah. and okay. go to the beach or just kind of hang out and okay. mm-hmm. do some me time. That's right. Mm-hmm. Important. Yeah. important. Yes, yeah, very important. Well, I know we're getting ready to go to break, but I want to just. Someone had a question. Oh, someone. You're gonna, do do okay, you see do that? Time for the question? No, no, no. Do oh. you see that on, on uh, Facebook? Well, I, I was just going to mention Sochi had a That's question. That's the one. But, okay, but we, I think he explained it. She asked if uh, Sochi Harris explains, uh, asked, sorry, did you have experience any aches and pains? Did you experience any aches and pains? And then you said you had fatigue. So we can, we can after the break, we can come back mm-hmm. and you can maybe go okay. into that a little bit more. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right. We thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be right back with this very informative show with Kenneth Johnson, who is living strong. Yes. Living strong. <laughs> we'll be right back. Did you know that your skin is your body's largest organ? And you should be aware of what you're applying to it. The more natural products you use, the better. The best place to start is with Did It For Love handmade natural body products made with pure organic ingredients. Our Shea Body Butter Moisturizer is whipped to perfection and hydrates dry, cracked skin, and protects from UV rays. Did It For Love Shea Body Butter Moisturizer is infused with essential oils. You can choose from scents like lavender, vanilla and sandalwood, white rose, and many more. Our deodorant has a fresh scent that not only works against odor, but also reduces sweat. With this toxin-free deodorant, you can feel fresh and confident all day long. You can also keep your lips healthy and kissable with our handmade lip balms. In healing and fruity scents like tantalizing peppermint to sensational green apple. Our products promote healthy, youthful looking skin and is safe for the whole family. Vegan friendly, cruelty free, and gentle enough for cancer survivors and those going through treatment. Go to diditforlove.com today. Did it for love, toxin free for your whole family. <laughs> Welcome back to It's Time to Talk. We hope that you are tuned in with us with Kenneth, Kenneth Johnson, who is living strong with MS. I'm just going to say that for the rest of the show, so just get ready because this brother is doing it. Yes. And I'm so happy to um, just have you here and, and have you share your story. Yeah. So before we went to the break, we had one of our, one of our listeners, um, Sochi, Harris. Sochi Harris. She wanted to know, did you experience any aches and pains? Uh, yes, Sochi. I, I experienced that. A lot of aches and pains. Uh, there's so much to that, um, mm-hmm. such a variety of aches and pains. Uh, the the experience I had was uh, migrating uh, spasms mm-hmm. and pain. Mm. I could get one minute I could get a, a sharp pain in my let's say in my right lobe okay. in the head. Mm-hmm. I mean, boom, mm-hmm. it's there. Mm-hmm. The next minute I have an ache in my ankle okay. or in the calf. Mm-hmm. There have been times I did my own little experiment. I would lay still in the bed mm-hmm. and I would kind of listen to my body mm-hmm. and I would get these spasms. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a, you ever had your arm jump? Yes. You know, it's, it'll jump, boop, right. boop, 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 right. boop, boop, mm-hmm. then it'll stop. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like those, but mm-hmm. it's throughout my entire body. Wow. Like so at I the could, same time? No, or they, they alternate. Time? Sometimes oh, it's wow. at the same okay. time. It's like something is inside my mm-hmm. body mm-hmm. moving around. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Maybe I don't know if you've had children. Uh, for, but, I was going to say for mm-hmm. us, that's, that's me. <laughs> yeah. we, just, can, we know that well. I, I've never had children, but I can only <laughs> yeah. assume that that's yeah. how it would feel. Yeah. Right, right. You know, in the stomach mm-hmm. area. But this is all over my entire body, mm-hmm. you know, laying flat, still, mm-hmm. not moving. And my bicep will jump. Um, and then I'll feel it in my calf. Then my toe will twitch. My finger will vibrate. Um, wow. It's just, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's constant. It doesn't wow. stop, mm-hmm. you know? Wow. And it's painful or just, or it's just Sometimes the there's or? pain. Okay. Uh, sometimes there's, well, the majority of the time it's, it's pain. The, okay. it's, it's, it's a painful disease. It's mm-hmm. hard to describe. Mm-hmm. Very hard that's to what describe. It, that's what it seems like. And it may yeah. be like it, um, in, an individual experience for right. each person. Depending on. Mm-hmm. The person, mm-hmm. right. you know, and I think that's the, one of the reasons why we have a hard time 
uh, with awareness. Mm-hmm. It's because it's mm-hmm. difficult for us to describe. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. a doctor can break it down for you. Right. But right. I, I don't have a PhD, so right. Right. it's right. tough for me. Right. Hey, mm-hmm. look, my arm is jumping. I don't know yeah. what's going right. on, like, and he'll, yeah. have this, he'll have a name for it. Yeah. So what are the so, treatments for, for this? What have you been um, doing? They have a treatment called drug modif. I think it's called disease modifying drug. Mm. Um, and basically, it's my my interpretation of it is that it's slowing it down. Mm. The disease is ever progressing. They don't know where it mm-hmm. comes from, mm-hmm. why it's here, why wow. it's attacking us. They don't yeah. have a clue. Yeah. Um, but my understanding of the DMD is that it's it's been developed to slow down. Okay. Mm-hmm. The progression of the disease, mm-hmm. along with you exercising, mm-hmm. trying to eat healthy. Yeah. I don't always eat healthy, but I try my <laughs> best. Because that's important. Like, oh, it's you very... need to stay away from process. I, we all need to stay yeah. away from process. Right. Right. But I can imagine. But, but it's difficult when you're used to doing that. Exactly. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. When you're used yeah. to going to stop, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to get me a Wendy's burger. Right. right. You know, right. now right. I'm going to get me a salad uh-huh. with some <laughs> boiled scallions yeah. or something. You know, really? That doesn't yeah. sound good. No. You know? No. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I mean, that's that's an adjustment. Yeah, but right. I cook my own meals. I have right. a website that I go to mm. on Facebook mm-hmm. um, to cook healthy meals. That's mm-hmm. good. And that, that helps me along. I, tr- I haven't been to McDonald's and Burger King in Lord knows how long. That's good. Yeah. Um, I try to stay away from that stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, a lot of fruits. Okay. I have a, um, what is that blender called? Uh, not Nutribullet, the other one. The one that's the like a dog. juicer. The one that's the, the hot dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? They sell it at Costco. What is it? Vitamix. Oh, Vitamix. Oh, Vitamix. Vitamix, yeah. Okay. I have a Vitamix. Is so that you a like juicer? Juice, juice blends and stuff like that? Yes. Okay. It'll grind that's up so anything. Good. I see. Yeah. I want to get into juicing. Yeah, I know. Our yeah. parents, remember mom and dad mom and were dad into juicing have, for yes. like a year or two? Yeah. We used so to, all that stuff. I think they we just grew, well, we grew up know. in we weren't living in mines and no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about when when we were out of the, I mean this is like a few years oh, ago oh, oh. they were oh, my they mom were was like I'm Jack drinking Lelaine. watermelon juice today she was like I'm drinking this juice and it was Jack Lelaine. Jack Lelaine. Jack Lelaine. Jack Lelaine. Yeah. he had a juicer too. maybe if they tune in maybe they'll start mm-hmm. using it again uh, yeah mom and dad. yeah my mom is watching <laughs> what are your uh, favorite uh, juices or blends that, that you know does something like give you energy or make you feel good like what you could tell the people that may um, I don't really use anything besides protein. Okay. Protein, mm-hmm. and I mean, I'll get anything from oranges to strawberries, mm-hmm. uh, kale. Okay. Um, there's a sweetener that Trader Joe's sells. I forgot the name of it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Um, chia seeds. Chia seeds. Things yeah. like mm-hmm. that. And, mm-hmm. and uh, I measure it out, mm-hmm. and I'll put it in there, mm-hmm. and along with some a little bit of uh, maybe vanilla yogurt. Okay. Okay. And some ice cubes. Oh, okay. Grind it up and I toss it in okay. my cup mm-hmm. and I drink it. And mm-hmm. that normally takes care of me through all the way through to dinner. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And then um, dinner, I pretty much I eat healthy. Mm-hmm. I eat a healthy mm-hmm. meal. Yeah. I try to. On the weekends, that's when I splurge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll go on and grab me, I don't know, a pizza or something. Okay. Or oh, that is, that is a splurge. Louisiana yeah. fried chicken. Oh, oh. all right like now. That. Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Yo, no, I may no. grab. I can't really well, endorse I grew that. Up on that. Okay. I know. I know. Oh, that green. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a, there's a place in Louisiana I'm addicted to called the Chicken Shack. It, oh, my God. It is Thank good. God it's in Louisiana. It, yes, put it that way. I want to go there all the time. I'll go get some of that chicken. It's so good. I'll be back. No, you're not right. You can't do that. I'll be right back. Right. <laughs> no, but um, but no, and oh, Sochi. I think she had hi, Sochi. Anyone who was saying hi, Sochi. Hi. She chimed she, in again. She said, "OMG." She said, "I asked that because I've been experiencing a lot of what you have been saying." She's talking she, about the aches and pains. Yes, yeah. she asked yeah. that question. Um, but just haven't been properly diagnosed. I already have an auto immune thyroid disorder i'm a registered nurse so mm. and then says see more so she says so i am familiar with a lot of what you are saying thank you for sharing your story hey so, my pleasure my yeah. pleasure yeah. um anytime yeah. i have an opportunity to do so yeah um i guess this is my next mission yeah. mm-hmm. you know in Absolutely. life uh i don't I no longer do the law enforcement thing, so I have to do something to keep myself busy besides working out. You know, I was thinking of that. All Okay, you said Desert Storm. Right. Yes. And then you said law enforcement, yes. which could be anything, police or uh, uh, federal. Federal, okay. federal agent. Right, okay. federal agent. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was a police officer, got later promoted to detective. Wow. I worked as a uh, detention officer, mm-hmm. Charlotte-Mecklenburg uh, Sheriff's Department. Wow. A sheriff's office. 
Uh, so I travel a lot. So you were in the thick of things. So yeah. you have experienced a whole lot, a yes. whole lot in that brain that keeps yeah. that brain busy, I'm yes. sure. Yes, yes. So is there any anything that stands out to you? Any fun little stories that you can think of that... Ooh. Maybe you can go back. <laughs> hey, that face. I you're just like, always take the opportunity because, man, he's been he's at been, war. I know. He's been, you know what I mean? We don't also often have a bad guy like this. I'll have right dig in the archives. But okay. I, 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 we will answer well, that. Well, share that? Well, okay. I do, yeah. do want to ask you a more on a serious note with, yes. you know, the whole events we went through with the Black Lives Matter and mm -hmm. the law enforcement and the killing the young black men. Mm -hmm. Did you have, any, you have any opinions on that or take of, with your background? I will just say uh, I, I was in law enforcement. I want to say 17 years, I think. Mm, okay. um, mm -hmm. And communication is key. Mm -hmm. That's what I learned. Right. Um, communication, um, being kind of honest mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. what what it is that you that you're trying to do. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, give it, granted, there's some folks out there. If you tell them that you're going to take them to jail, they're going to want to fight immediately. Mm. Okay. Um, Ooh, that's a big question. <laughs> it's a good one, though. Okay, yeah. It's a good one. But, I think, that, but I think you're right. That's huge. Communication. Communication. And, and then maybe getting to know the people in the right. community yes. that you're serving yes. is huge, too. Because if you knew me, you knew about me, right. and I was into something, or right. I was doing something innocently or whatever, and you run right. up on me and I'm doing it. Oh, April, what are you doing? What's, you know, right. We can have a conversation about right. it instead of freeze and right. run out and get out. You know? and choking people <laughs> yeah. out. I'm that. thinking. I, I, I think that's I, common sense. I never had an issue with the use of force. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. At least I don't recall having <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever had one. Um, well, see, to but me, you have you're a good communicator. So I could see, yeah. you know, you. I could see the difference with you just engaging with probably the, you know, whatever person you run into, finding right. out the facts, the communication that you're speaking about. And that's, to me, that's the difference between a fine officer and someone who maybe is not really you know, concerned about right. protecting and serving. You know, right. there's more so about looking at people as criminals and, and suspects first instead of like, this is a, another human being. Right. Let, Let me, me find, find out. out what's going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. And that was my thing. Mm -hmm. I just, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I knew that I was putting someone mm -hmm. in a place where they didn't deserve or need to be. Mm -hmm. Why am I going to lock someone up that didn't com actually commit the crime? Right. We have enough of that going on. Right. In the country, mm -hmm. uh, where people where people are being released, mm -hmm. you know, for for things that they didn't do, didn't and, do, and yeah. we're not talking about a year. Right. We're talking Come about 17, 25 years. They're These people are being lives. released right. and only given twenty five dollars. Oh, you know, that's hopefully story. they'll work on that. But my goodness, I mean, it's it's yeah, it's, it's just not me. I mm -hmm. was brought up better than that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a loving family. Mm -hmm. um, they've taught me well. Mm -hmm. They brought me up well. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. And uh, I carry those values with me That's, with my work. And yeah. plus, shoot, I ain't going to be looking over my shoulder every five minutes because I'm right. worrying about somebody coming to get me. That's right. You know, That's it's right. It's not going to happen. That's right. So. We have a couple more comments. Yes. Sharice says, so proud of That's you, That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sharice, girl. Sharice. I, I love you, girl. That's my girl. Oh, shout out to Sharice. Oh, shout man. Out. She's been a lifesaver. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Oh, man. Support. You got support, a big support yeah. yes. system. With yes. This. Which is very important mm -hmm. when yeah. you have a, uh, a disease such yeah. as MS. Mm -hmm. Right. Any disease. Mm -hmm. You know. Sure. I'm sure you're a cancer mm -hmm. survivor. Oh, yes. You know. My family's been stellar. Just, uh, I mean, I couldn't be this far without them. Yeah. It's amazing support. So, uh, yeah, that's my girl, man. She's she's yeah. taking care of me, oh. really. Oh, man, tell my support. You're going to have tears coming down. Oh. Uh, we have another. Uh, yeah, be, be strong. Uh, man. Be strong. Go back to those days. Go back to those days. <laughs> Cynthia Taylor says, uh, one of Newport News finest, finest police, police officer. officers. My sis, what's up, sis? I just love it. I love it. That's my girl. That's she's good. a yes. she, 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 uh, she's a good friend as well. Good. Uh, someone I could speak to and talk to yeah. on a regular basis. Wonderful. Very supportive and uh, miss you, girl. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. So I'm just, uh, you know, so just bringing up those things, uh, being in law enforcement, it just, you know, again, I have to go back because this can affect you cognitively. Yes. And you had to use your brain being in the desert storm and being a police officer and being yes. a detective. You know, yes. you had to put the pieces together. Yes. So how do you draw back on that? I, I, I imagine that you do um, moving forward. It actually has become kind of second nature. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. I kind of. I don't know. Uh, uh, 
what do you call it, dab into it mm -hmm. every now and then when it's needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do it when I'm out and about every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always paying attention to what's going on around yeah, right. me. Uh, yeah. It's just something that's been inbred in me uh, with my law enforcement training. Sure. And the other police officers, I'm sure, do the same thing. Mm -hmm. right. You're never at rest. Right, right. You're right. always right. looking. Do I need to help someone or mm -hmm. do I need to hook someone up and mm -hmm. take them to jail? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're always on a, 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 a level of alertness, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so well, you know, one thing that I heard recently, which made me sad, was that this new budget that Trump is coming out with, mm -hmm. like he is taking, he's uh, cutting funding for a lot of the science research, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, across the board with the, with a lot of things. And I know they're doing tons of research with MS. Yes. And I know that they're into stem cells and things like that. Yes. What do you know about that? I don't know too much about stem cells mm -hmm. as far as Trump um, or President Trump, I need to be Correct. That's right. President, President Trump. Trump. I'm going to give him his respect. <laughs> Did you stop smirking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times yeah. they just said Obama? Obama. I, right? Exactly. I couldn't and, understand and that. And didn't put any titles yeah, so to him. I just say Trump. Right. But, but go ahead. Trump. But, I digress. <laughs> um, as far as Mr. Trump. Militant over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, he doesn't have a, a, an effect or impression upon me at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is mm -hmm. what it is. I'm not yeah. a politician, so I don't yeah. worry about him. But yeah. as far as him cutting costs right. yes. and cutting funding on all these mm -hmm. programs that mm -hmm. we need in order mm -hmm. to survive mm -hmm. doesn't make sense, and I don't agree with it, and yeah. I wouldn't vote for any of that. Yeah. Exactly. You right, know, right. Not only with MS, but, you know, mm -hmm. cancer, mm -hmm. um, all the other uh, so many. programs. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and the so. poor kids, they want to cut the after-school programs for the children and mm -hmm. just all of that stuff. Yeah, and just, the lunch? Yes. Come on, like, man. Yes. Some of them, that's the only nutrition that they get right. for the day, yeah. which doesn't make yeah. sense yeah. to right. me. So, okay. That kids are our future. Children are our future. So Absolutely. why mm -hmm. wouldn't you want them right. to have the best? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You right. know? So. Wow. Wow. Um, well, well, I just think, you know, you're a living example. Um, I think you're inspiration. Absolutely. You know, and I, I just it's just wonderful you being on the show today. Yes. Because thank you for having um, me. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, there was quite a few people on Instagram saying thank you, you know, for us having the show and that you're brave to speak on this because, yeah. you know, we're living with certain things and, and people aren't. There's other people out there and they right. think they're the only ones. Yeah. So they're not alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I've run into some of those mm -hmm. folks mm -hmm. um, where they didn't want to open up or they didn't feel comfortable opening mm -hmm. up and that's fine that's okay mm -hmm. but if i can do something to help these people free themselves mm -hmm. because basically we're imprisoning ourselves when mm. we do those things right right you know mm -hmm. we need to be free just like everyone else absolutely and we shouldn't be judged because yeah. we have something that was that mm -hmm. just happened it was mm -hmm. beyond our control absolutely. i didn't know this was going to happen right. Absolutely. right you know and other folks out there they need to know that hey mm -hmm. look you got you got plenty out there, mm -hmm. plenty of people out there that are willing to support you and help you. Yeah. Right. You know, don't be shy. Don't be afraid. That's it's right. okay. Mm -hmm. You know. So you were also the leader of a, a MS group, yes. correct? Self-help yes. group. Look at that smile. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was kind of excited about it. It was good Actually, to get this back. Whole, everything that's happening, mm -hmm. God is working that's in good. my that's life. Good. Yeah. And uh, this is the time. Isn't that this something? is the time. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I was down and out in 2012. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now wow. 2017, fast forward. Now be in between, I was hurting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing would seem to be going my way. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, I was no longer working. And mm -hmm. then I get diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. wow. So I was like, okay, God, yeah. come on. Right. right. I, I got you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I could do this. Yeah. But come on, man. Can I get a break, please? Yeah. Right, right, please. right, right. You mm -hmm. know, I'm getting tired, Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I, I, I need mm -hmm. some help. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I need you to help me. Right. And uh, I stuck with it. Right. And uh, here I am. Yeah, because, he, he pulled you through because yeah. you yes, decided did. to keep your head up. Yes, he did. And fight that good and fight. And he needed you to, to you know, God to appoints be here, us right? to do, yeah, yeah to fight yeah. and do certain things for him. And he, you know, unfortunately, you know, we don't have it easy in this life. I mean, Jesus didn't have it easy, right. you know, so how can we expect to? Exactly. So, but he, God uses us through our adversities. Right. And he's definitely have chosen you to, um, you know, give you that fight because he's working through you. Right. You know? And I don't understand. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. understand how folks can blame 
mm-hmm. uh, our father oh, yeah. for, for things that for happen things that in our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've had some tough things happen. To okay. Me. Mm-hmm. Not at once have I ever thought about blaming God right. for right. anything right. that has happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not his fault. He's not mm-hmm. here. Right. That's right. right. You know. That's right. He's given yeah. me life. I yes. need That's to lead right. this That's and make right. decisions. Because we right. don't. Re- sometimes people don't realize that they are the creator. So we are also. God gave us free will. Right. So now we are in charge of our lives. So then right. we're creating. We're there's laws that, of attraction. There's vibrations, which we we talk about all the time on the show. But right. you're always creating. So you're creating things that come to you. And not to say that you're creating. Um, not to say that you would give yourself a disease or anything. But there are certain things in life that through our, um, you know, th- through the environment. Through, right. through our lifestyles, through the things that we eat, right. can cause certain things, right. you know, um, even just in the mind. I know right. for my situation, I was going through a stressful time. I was just, and I didn't I didn't release, I didn't let things out. Right. So my body fought me back. That's huge. And so I know it attacked me through cancer because I was just, uh, I was just one person that would just, very private, keep everything in. I wouldn't mm-hmm. express a lot of feelings. So, and I did it for years right. and it fought me back and I know it came out through that way. So there's mm-hmm. certain things that if you kind of, you look deeper, you could kind of understand, you could kind of get to a, some understanding, you know, yeah. of, of why things happen. And, right. and then out of that, God has used me and I'm so grateful. And, you know, he's using you as well. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. That's so. awesome. Um, Cynthia Taylor wants to know, um, was it Cynthia? Yes. She said, how often do you work out? Hey, Cindy. Um, <laughs> I work out. I, I'm trying to go. Uh, I'm up to five, six days a week. Oh, now. that's good. Oh, can yeah, I just good. go once or twice? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah. Can I just do 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> can't even do that but this right is now. inspiring I'm gonna get back on right. it again. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all right. Mm-hmm. right yeah I'm, so I'm, five I'm, six I'm, days a week wow I'm averaging about that's great s- I'm averaging about six days a week last week I went six this week I did six yeah so I, I and then my regimen is uh weightlifting okay mm-hmm. and uh I either ride the bike mm-hmm. for 45 minutes mm-hmm. do the treadmill for 45 minutes that's mm-hmm. fantastic or I swim <laughs> Oh, ooh, I love! Boy, I would love oh, to swim. Man. That's the best exercise. You can swim, girl. We got oceans all around. There you I'm go. not getting nobody's oh. ocean. Okay, <laughs> give me a swimming pool. Maybe at the gym. Oh, good. We can get it oh, in. Okay, man. I, I love to be ready though. When I swim, I see the I see difference on my body right away, right. And, and it's from head to toe. And I'm yeah. like, oh, that's gonna be yeah. I, that I, is I, a good workout. Low impact. Yeah, that is low a good impact. workout right there. Oh, that's good. Oh, we got some footage of you. In, go ahead, Jarvis. Oh, got him in the pool. Okay, got him in the pool. Got him in the pool. You know what? I oh, love looking back at our show. Real quick, Jarvis just has it all. Wait, real quick, we, we have someone else chiming yes. in. Minister Rash- Rashinda, Rashinda B. Davis. That's She's, my girl. She says, "Please tell Kenny we are all watching. Very proud of him. MS oh. doesn't stop us. That's right. That's right. That's, That's absolutely right. That's my girl. I had to call her. It's funny. Um, that young lady there. She lives in Virginia. Okay. She's good friends. Mm-hmm. We're really good friends, and." Mm-hmm. Uh, it's funny we lost contact. Okay, um, we right. lost contact. Mm-hmm. Um, she kind of went her way. I went mine, and okay. I was working and mm-hmm. going to the feds and all that other stuff. We lost contact, and then we ended up finding each other on Facebook. Okay, but we you. ended up talking, had a conversation. Come to find out, she had multiple sclerosis. Wow. Yeah, okay. uh-huh. and then she ended up being on the same uh, disease modifying drug as I was, okay. which is Avonix. I'm uh-huh. not doing any advertising, but we're right. on the same. Right. medication and same treatment right. mm-hmm. so she and i bonded and we've been communicating ever since oh, wow. so we stay Wonderful. tight well, that's well let's awesome. just one more we, last we're person. towards we're, the end of our show we're gonna have to Teresa, up soon. That's that's the real quick i know tree says fast. you are uh, you are courage and strength in more ways than one god continue to bless you and keep you just wanted to Thank end you. on that note yes yeah, so, that's you. exactly yeah. what i was gonna so, do girl yeah. we're here mm-hmm. always that's exactly what I was going to do. We, we thank you. A voiceover, man. Oh, uh, well, Real we quick. can do that right now. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Talk about um, voiceover. I'm also working on, uh, I'm trying to work or become a voiceover artist. Awesome. So if anyone's really? out there. Voice over yeah, you? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so Sounds if anyone's wonderful. looking for someone with a, with a good voice, I'm here. Yes. So That's right. So it'd be my pleasure. Look him up. Okay. Now, and, and they can go to your Facebook page, yes. too, to find you. Tell us, Give us that page. Together as, mm-hmm. Together as one fighting MS. I think we have it on the on the yes. screen. Together as one fighting MS. So you can con- people can contact you yes, that way. Yes, please mm-hmm. please do so. Uh, I'm open to to just about doing anything in right. regards to MS. That's right. That's right. So if you need me to speak, I'm there. Uh, That's right. If you want me to travel, I'll do that within reason. Yes. But you, yeah, you're available. Definitely. This is my do your thing. That's Great wonderful. and powerful story. We thank yes. you so thank much you. for being thank with so us. Much, thank you. Kenneth Johnson, ladies and yes. gentlemen, we thank, thank you. you. Thank you all for watching, and you can follow us 
and we, we I'm gonna shout out some birthdays real quick. Okay. Happy birthday to Kaden, Devin, Janae, Hello. Sheila, Cece, and Tamarack. We didn't get to shout you guys all. out. Love you all. We thank, thank you, you for Happy tuning birthday. in, and uh, <laughs> check our Facebook next week for that live footage from yes. the Stellar Awards events. We love you so much. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, be blessed. Woo!